welcome back to the channel for another episode of Let's Read the Sims Pet Stories. We are on chapter number five, and I'm surprised because Sam is actually sleeping on his bed for the very first time. This gives me hope that he might actually become domestic at some point instead of being so freaking ornery. I love how he's thinking that Alice just woke up or thinking about the fact that Alice woke up. It's so cute. And she's like, good morning, Sam. I don't know what you're thinking, Sam. <laughs> you better not do it. He's about to chew up my bed. I may have spoke too soon. The first thing Alice is going to do is she is going to go nap herself a little bit of breakfast. Then we're probably going to take a shower. I want to see if we could maybe change Alice's outfit. I don't think we did that in the previous episode. Today is a day we get some serious work done. We need to train on this equipment in order to have any chance at competing in the show. We're officially heading into chapter five and this chapter is called training day. Okay, Sam, let's get to work. I like how she says that when she has an entire mouthful of omelet, which by the way, Sam was begging for this morning and she might have snuck him a little piece of egg, just a tiny piece of way boat. Mm, oops, <laughs> there's someone out the door. Oh, it's Thomas. I wonder what he needs. I also wonder why he's thinking about engagement rings. Nevertheless, Alice, you need to come over here and greet him because he's been waiting for a very long time while you stuff your freaking mouth. Hey, listen here, Sam. Okay, the second she leaves, he's over here tearing up the freaking couch. Mind you, he has been really in to his little poodle toy lately. That is obviously the reason why he's been just destroying our furniture is because he needs to chew. Hi, Thomas. What's up? Hey, Alice. I was just on my way to work, but I wanted to drop off this high jump. It's a little old, but it should help you train Sam. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Thomas. This is great. We were just about to get started. Girl, why are you lying? You know you're about to go and take a bath, change your outfit, put a little makeup on, because if you're going to train Sam, you are going to make sure you look damn good doing it. Remember, Alice, don't tell anyone where you're getting the stuff okay i have so many questions right now but the biggest one that i want to ask is why the hell is thomas standing like a bull noodle like he is all bent out of shape and also why can't we tell anybody where we're getting this this stuff i have a feeling that thomas might be well he might be a sticky fingers mcgee quit worrying thomas i'll be fine i promise <laughs> speak for yourself alice i'm afraid like is he stealing this are we gonna get in trouble are we gonna go to jail i need to set up that high jump so we we can start training. You need to wash your ass first because you haven't showered for like two days. I need to place all of the dog show agility training equipment on my lot so that Sam and I can practice. Off camera, I decided to put Alice into a different outfit. So you'll see that in just a minute. It's really not that exciting, honestly. I forgot that the Sims 2, whenever you have like a bottom, the shoes are included. And oh my gosh, I'm so grateful they don't do that anymore because let me tell you, the ballerina flats with like the super high skirt just isn't my bag. <laughs> like it's, it's just not my vibe. So here is our high jump that Thomas gave us. I'm thinking I have a little organizing to do because this isn't looking super fluid. I'm going to put everything in a straight line. I hate to say it, but Sam's a little dumb. So if he can follow the straight line, I definitely have some hope that we'll be able to win this competition. I know somebody's going to get mad at me for calling Sam dumb. I think Dalmatians are actually really smart. So I'm the dumb dumb for calling him Dumb. I just think he's selectively smart, you know what I'm saying? So now that that is officially placed, let's see what our next goal is. Practice on the A-frame. We need to practice the A-frame for the dog show. I'm almost certain we've done this before, but I'm just going to follow the instructions because, again, I really do want Alice to win this competition. I love how she's reading her trashy little novels, like, on the sidelines. Thomas is really getting to her. <laughs> She, yeah, I see why she needed to take that bath. It's not because, oh my freaking God, it's not because she needed to wash her ass. It's because she's uh, feeling a little nasty. Okay, just stop. Why do I do this to myself? I really don't know why you guys watch these videos. <laughs> now I see why only a few of you do because it's a mess. No, I'm just kidding. All right, come on, Sam. Let's do this. I swear in his little doggy head, he's like, really, do we have to do this again, human? I just want snacks. I just want to tear up the couch. Well, I hate to break it to you, Tuts. There won't be any couches to tear up if Dee Dee DeBoer gets her hands on this house. So we did the A-frame. I don't know if we did it perfectly because it doesn't necessarily say that we've completed the task. So we're going to just keep practicing until... 
I guess the skull goes away, maybe? Am I doing this right? I feel like I might not be doing this right. Good boy, Sam, you got it, good boy. I don't know enough to train Sam any better. Lolly must be doing something right because we're on to the next goal. It is time for us to train Sam on the teeter-totter. I'm only hoping that I have enough of a skill level in order to train him, right? Because isn't there like a training level for Sims 2? Maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm just making this up, but we'll see. I love the little, the little example, I think he's got it. It. He hates the teeter totter. I don't know if y'all have noticed every single time he's been on a teeter totter, this is what he does. He like sits in the middle of it and then jumps off, like tries to give me a mini heart attack, but at least he did it. So I'm gonna do this a few times. And I think that is literally the goal here is just to keep doing it until we can't anymore. And then we'll probably move on to the high jump. Um, but I'm hoping at some point, like Sam will just go across this bad boy and and ace it but maybe he's supposed to lay in the middle like i'm so ignorant i have no idea what i'm doing we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants we completed the teeter-totter and now it's time to move on to the high jump i'm a little nervous about this one because it will be the first time that sam has ever attempted the high jump but he's been doing really good so far so i have full-fledged confidence that he'll be able to ace this too might take him a couple times though <gasps> wait did is that I thought, I thought you're supposed to go over. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to go under. It's called a high jump, not a low crawl. Wait, oh my gosh, she just jumped over it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think you're actually supposed to jump over it, but the fact that we saw real life progress is kind of exciting to me. So let's see. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna jump cut a little bit, but let's see if Sam will jump at this time. Okay, so he's going under it again. He's backing out and he's jumping over it. So he's starting to get the hang of it. I started to train Sam today for the dog show, and Thomas gave me a dog show obstacle to help me out. Sam seemed a little more attentive to me than he usually is, so that magazine's advice seems to be paying off. I think we're as ready as we can be for the show. Oh my god, this dog just pissed. <laughs> Oh, not the, not the feet kicks. He just peed on a freaking lounge chair. And you think we're ready for the dog show? You can't be serious. Listen, I'll agree. I saw a ton of progress. Okay, I really did. But I don't think we're anywhere near where we need to be to actually win this thing. I mean, I get it. Like some of this, some of the things that, that Sam does is just a part of his personality. But like, come on, girl. We have a long way to go. It kind of bums me out, though, that this chapter was was really short so what I'm going to do is maybe film another episode and I might post two today if I can okay listen it's like almost one o'clock so I might not be able to do that um, but it's just really important for me to keep these kind of chapter by chapter so if there is a short episode it sucks but at least I am posting these weekly and hey I've been pretty consistent about it too so that is a win in my book um, but what I want to do is I want Alice to eat her nasty salad okay and and I want her to decompress a little bit. Oh, one of the things I think really helped, good boy, good boy, maybe I should come over here and praise him for chewing on his toy and not the furniture. You know, a lot of this is actually my fault because I'm not really doing the positive reinforcement. And that's what I was just gonna tell you. One of the things that um, really helped, I don't know if I'm gonna include the, the training footage where I wasn't talking, but I probably will so you can see like, the process of it all but one of the things that really helped and i remembered from our training um was to make sure that sam was feeling good and i saw that his needs were dipping he was getting really hungry and obviously you can't perform well if you're hungry so i gave him a little treat and then right after the treat he nailed it so i think he just responds well to positive reinforcement he doesn't want to be told that he's stupid <laughs> who would ever who would ever call sam dumb <laughs> he doesn't want to be called dumb he 
doesn't want to be yelled at. He just wants to be encouraged. I mean, don't we all? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. But don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.